Hi, for today's video, this. So, one more time, I played at the eBay Russian Roulette and I did purchase this box with no ID at all of what I will find inside. So, it will be quite uh, a surprise. What we have here, it was super cheap actually, it was uh, 25 British pounds and you, I had to add another 25 for shipping but it was not too bad so we have a box with on the front a whole bunch of connectors socket and plugs with the original caps which is always good and it is called the signal processor unit can I zoom NSN number here, Selex S and AS. K, catch code probably, so made in Great Britain. Sensitive, electrostatic sensitive equipment. So, some kind of a signal processor unit. It looks like it is a box in two parts. Because here at the back we have a separate part which is most probably the power supply. And also, as you can see, the wall box seems to be a big heat sink. So, on the front, we have an access panel here, but I, I did check, there is nothing, just a flat flex connecting to the connectors. So, not worth taking it apart again, just a flat flex in here. Two more connectors here, and the grounding point. So, I will start by uh, unscrewing this uh, back piece because as everything is heavy, it will be easier to handle without the back module and we will first uh, have a look at this, I believe, before we open the main unit. So, let's do it. Okay, so if it's, this thing is well made, uh, it should just be able to pull on this thing and it should unmate with no trouble, no flat flex, no wires or nothing. We will find out. And actually, yes, uh, very, very easy to undo. Uh, this part here, by the way, is called computer unit now. And I can see what looks like silver coating everywhere. Very uh, bright silver color. So in this case it's completely silver coated. This one also. It is good. Uh, some kind of a seal here all around. And uh, this board, so we will start by having a look in here after I put the camera over it. So, this box uh, seems uh, yes to be a power supply, but uh, it is weird because I believe I do not see how the board at the bottom here will fit through this uh, gap here. It seems larger, and everything here is made of a single piece, so quite. Uh, Weird. I will try anyways to extract it, but looks like it might be difficult. I hope it is not something uh, complicated like uh, disassembling these connectors or something like this. There is actually here super long screw that is obviously securing everything in here but it is not enough because I can see most probably the screws here on the side also are securing the unit but I will try anyways to lift it we never know no it is not moving at all so 
Yes, it is called the uh, power supply unit by Ferranti International Aerospace Systems. Okay. I will try at least to undo this board here, which should be possible. Given I see a board to board connector here. Hopefully it will come out. Okay. This was not too difficult and already very nice construction, regular parts, well the super nice quality parts but uh, and for some reason all the capacitors here are super super uh, seriously bonded to the board with epoxy, they are not go going anywhere also for these little coils but here they could have done it also for the other parts but it is not the case but anyways golden connector here super tiny transistor here quite amazing quite unusual shape this one or maybe it is not a transistor it is called LM136 ok uh, canned up amps here Wow, they look like expensive parts already. So, next, what is this? This, I believe, I hope at least, if I undo the eight screws here on the side, it will come off. So, let's try it. Ok, so in fact it was better than expected, I was expecting more problems. Again, super, super nice silver coating in this case. Look at this, wow. It is lightweight, so it is aluminium, but silver coating everywhere. Quite amazing. And here, oh, we have quite a serious uh, construction as you can see because this uh, power supply is completely uh, over shielded with uh, what seems to be this time uh, stainless steel plate yes stainless steel super super strong construction here but I do not see anything of uh, particular interest we have uh, transformers like this one in uh, ferrite, some uh, metal diodes, two power transistors here by international uh, rectifiers, IRF 250CECC. Ok, and uh, nothing in particular, so a whole bunch of uh, Electrolytic capacitors by SIC Safco, so they are good brand, but you know how electrolytic capacitors edge, and uh, I am not sure if they are still good anymore. So interesting, for sure. You can see here the two connectors, how they did uh, attach them to the board with this uh, aluminium bracket. So really, really. Uh, Serious construction here, but actually uh, a little uh, piece of ferrite here again. All the capacitors are at the same time epoxide and uh, secured to the plate here with foam. Very nice uh, power diodes here. So the old school linear power supply apparently. Very, very strong and very well shielded. So I will put this part together and we will uh, remove the two covers on the main box and find out what we have. So 
uh, for the main box, as you can see here, the paint is quite damaged, sadly. But it's still just a black uh, uh, paint, so I can redo it quite easily if I want. So this is the bottom side. I uh, expect to find only probably a uh, pack plane board if it is well made and it seems it is well made so I know what you to expect in this case we will find out in a two in two screws exactly as you can see uh, very annoying slotted screws in here I did uh, do undo most of them off camera because already and I can not uh, okay I will do this Okay, what do we have? As expected, backline plane board. Uh, as I said previously, flat flex going to the connectors here and here, and going to this big back plane board. More silver uh, coating, but here in this section, this connector actually has uh, five or six big pins and seems we have some kind of a power uh, supply filter with pass-through capacitors here and here calls one more uh, capacitor here Suflex seems to be a regular uh, aluminium mylar capacitor this thing nothing particular and then it goes to the uh, power supply here actually there is a lot of wires but you can see they are connected together so we have three wires here and three wires here so it is most probably one uh, single phase power supply because uh, you yeah, know so here we have one more diode so looks like we have a reverse polarity protection here and uh, uh, grounding on the two phase going to directly to the power supply in this uh, shielded channel separated completely from the main uh, electronics compartment okay ah probably here dead code of 1990 or 92 here so it is quite modern this thing I was expecting something more old than this, but no. Okay, I will reinstall this cover and we will have a look in the main cards compartment. Okay, time to reveal what we have in the main compartment. I hope it will be good. But you never know. Um, terrible suspense here because I have no idea and maybe maybe not expensive parts mm, yes I noticed these screws here were different so maybe it was not necessary to undo them and obviously they are just for the card retainers Okay, and we have apparently six circuit boards with super nice uh, edge connector here, as you can see, for testing purpose probably. Uh, where the material seal here around. Okay. So I need to undo them and it looks like one other time we have this uh, locking mechanism here. Luckily enough my tool was already ready from the previous teardown. Well, as it is exactly the same device. 
Okay. Uh, where is it? Here. So I'm really curious about this board. Partly one more kind of uh, computer thing. For some reason the middle board here has uh, blocks of aluminium that will uh, secure on the cover. Not sure why. So in which uh, uh, it looks like actually there is an order to undo them because I see overlapping parts here. Mm. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to extract these things. Did I forget a screw? Yes. It is annoying. Ah. So, let me try to extract this one. <coughs> at a time obviously wow okay so I will undo all the boards and we will check them out okay first at the bottom of the case nothing else just the big back plane with you can see very nice connectors very hard to undo by the way and the huge flat flex going to the front connectors bolted here with uh, one more connector maybe uh, here there is another one behind this one and where the shape of the tracks obviously but it is all for this so let's check the board uh, where to start first one is it called uh, something particular? No, there is no a lot of information, just the model and serial number here on this uh, bracket with a two. Ah, look at this, what we have here. It is not me, I did just find one bolt stuck in here. Quite weird because I do not see where it could come from it is bigger than the hardware everywhere hmm, quite curious ok, here we have this first board with oh, one bent transistor also apparently but apart from this uh, Aris ICs all over the place. So we have a computer something, so I did not see any problem. Uh, decoupling capacitors everywhere. Super nice connector here from Hypertac made in England. And this board covered with ICs. Very unusual uh, color of uh, circuit board actually. Now we have an uh, aluminium plate here. So, yes, it is it's in king the whole circuit board, and then it is connected to the case by the, the sides here and transferring the heat to the case and then to the external heat sink fins. Okay, interesting. MTK MD so processor with me prob no. I do not know uh, three of them some RAM maybe yes dash five so must be the speed Aris copyright Intel 78 but uh, that cause of 90Q everywhere so it is a super nice old uh, design here they did reuse 
Ok, and crystal oscillator here, a service capacitor, very seriously bonded to the board with uh, epoxy. Backside, no bulge. Ok, so one nice board. Next one, let's say this one. We have more Aris ICs here, a national semiconductor here, SOB, Nentio 30A, whatever it is. So, some kind of uh, analog from the hand here, it seems, I believe. You can see all the passive parts. Three and gold top ICs. One crystal oscillator here. Modification record at the back, not populated. Okay, and again, the metal plate is sinking all the ICs from the back of the bottom side. Quite interesting. Uh, Construction. We continue with one of our super loaded board. Uh, Cypress ICs. So, uh, loaded clips, it seems here. One more co-associator. And uh, each time this uh, connector at the back for test purpose. Wow, this is nice. Decoupling capacitor each time, you can see. Super nice construction here. Impressive. Apart for the a few capacitors on the crystal, the, this thing is only ICs. Super, super nice. Here we have uh, more of the same stuff, more Aris uh, large ICs, Zyka, so yes, computing going on here. What I see, uh, MG 80C to 86-10, so looks like uh, probably a 286 processor. Uh, oh yes, copyright Intel, but made by Aris. It is a pinned case, but they did not use a socket, it is soldered directly. And also, you will notice here the very serious spotting on this bot wire, they are not going anywhere. Quite insane. So, this is obviously the main processor board. Maybe we have even a proms here or here. Resistor network, one more super well secured in crystal oscillator. Also this capacitor. So really, really inside construction this thing, but I have no clue of what it does and what it is for. This board I believe is very similar to another one we have seen. Uh, ROMs here, 80 at, by Atmel, but not socketed, so we will not be able to read them, sadly enough. More very well secure board wires. So this is just made of awesomeness. Guys, quite insane. So we are left with one board, which sadly is half unpopulated. So nothing of interest on this board, sadly, a cheap one. Well, already I'll see uh, three super nice uh, uh, golden ICs from HP for even more Aris chips. Nothing else of particular interest here. Wait. What do we have here? Analog devices. 
SDC 1741 option 411B date code 81 USA in a metal can seems to be a hybrid something digital to analog converter maybe let me search it on Google and see if it is worth anything Wow, 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 we have here a three thousand dollar parts. 28 weeks lead time to get one available from Mauser. Zero in stock. Over 30,000 euros or dollars. Even from eBay, it is super expensive. So, seems we have quite a winner here. I was not expecting this. I did pay the wall box 25 euros. So I believe <laughs> just for the silver coating, I did already retrieve my money, even if I am not planning to uh, uh, retrieve in by any means this uh, silver coating. It is not possible, and I do not want to do it. But here. Three thousand dollar parts in a twenty-five euros box. This is totally awesome. And one more time, I pay almost nothing for a box with unknown contents, and I end up finding over expensive parts, and also extremely hard to find. So the seller actually has other boxes like this one in stock. I am considering getting one or two extra just for this. It is uh, 50, 60 euros expense with uh, shipping. He has uh, more than 10 available of them. And if you wonder, it is on eBay GI Joe Army Stores 2010. The seller. It is a, a seller from which I did purchase recently the Missile Test Set. But this really... Uh, nice, nice, nice find in here. So super, super awesome. Okay. So I believe it will be all for this uh, video. We did see all the boards. I will no, do not have the time to go in detail of uh, onto all the ships. It is some, doing some kind of uh, signal, computerized uh, signal processing, I believe. Receiving data from uh, radio link, maybe, and processing it. Something like this. But really, so this is a resolver to a digital converter. Apparently, so uh, uh, converting old school resolver technology to digital, and they are super expensive. I have some in my uh, um, thermography uh, symbology computer, and so not the same model, but this kind of devices and really nice laser welded case. Of course, thick conformal coating everywhere. Probably these ICs alone are already super expensive. And by the way, they have uh, yes, um, unit Packard uh, model numbers on them. Okay, so I will put this back together after I do photos of the boards for Flickr. Really, it was a nice uh, find. I was not expecting this. So one more very nice addition to my little collection of avionics. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.